So using G28, what is it and how do we use it and why would we use it? Okay, so let's have a look. Now the G28 is a reference return G code. Now in much of these lessons, in fact all of them, we use G53 to switch over to the machine datum and then we give an X0, Y0, Z0 coordinates to take our tool back to the machine reference zero or the machine zero point. So there's our G53 position, our machine zero position. And if our tool was in this position and we called G53, X0, Y0, Z0, the tool would collide with this step here. So when we're in this situation, this is when we would use G28. So to use G28 the same way we use G53, the line of code would look like this. Now you may notice we have a G91 in there. Now G91 is important because this puts the machine into incremental mode. Now if we omitted this and the machine was an absolute, it would go to our working datum that we set with G54 or G55 etc. first before it goes to the machine datum. So with G28, it will go to the X, Y and Z position before it goes back to the machine datum. Let me explain. So let's use this line of code as an example. We have G28, our G91, our incremental mode, X0 and Y0, but Z30. So when it does this move, it will go to Z30 before it goes to the machine zero position. And we can do this in any axis, not just Z. So G28 is reference return via the points that we give it using X, Y and Z coordinates. It would go to these positions before it goes back to the machine zero position. So let's have another example. If we were to go to G28, G91, then X20, Y60, Z30, the machine would go to the position of X20, Y60, Z30 before it moves to the machine zero position. Now these dimensions are taken from the last known position of the cutter because we are using incremental our G91. Now if we were still an absolute, it would take these dimensions from our working datum, our G54 or our G55 etc. So we may collide depending on where this datum is. So it's always safer to switch to incremental than have this distance here, the X, Y and Z distance, come from the last known position of the tool and not the datum that we are using to machine our part. So we really don't want to forget to add the G91 to this line. Now, we might also see the G28 used with auxiliary axis commands, the U, V or W commands. Now this would omit the G91 if the machine likes it this way. Now we see this mostly on lathes and not miller machines, but I do want to mention it in case you come across it. So this line may also be written G28, U 0, 0.0, V 0, 0.0, W 30. And this would do exactly the same thing, but this system is more used on lathes than it is milling machines. Now some controllers also use G28.1. Now this G code on its own, G28.1, will take all axes back to its zero position. So it works much the same way, but it doesn't go via a point, it just references the tool home. So in this case, it would crash the machine on this step if we used G28.1. And this would work in much the same way as the reference all button on some CNC machine controls. Some machines such as Makino's will have a button you can push once and the tool will go back to its home position. So the G28.1 acts exactly the same way. So to recap, G28 means go back to the machine's zero position or its reference position via another position that we give it with the X, Y and Z coordinates. So if we give G28 Z30, it would go 30 millimeters up in Z before going back to its reference position. And we always need to put the machine into incremental mode before we do this. Otherwise it will go from the distance from the datum that we set on the material, our work shift datum, and not the machine datum. So that's how the G28 works. Now, if we don't have any obstacles in the way, we can safely use G53. So this just tells the machine to go to the machine datum and then go to position zero in X, Y, and Z. So it goes straight to that position.